nerds, hi yogis, Carly and Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a Ready Player One flow. So it's inspired by gaming, but it is a great flow for anyone who just wants to get more movement in their lives. Uh, whether it's video games, TV, work, sitting in your car, whatever the case may be, we tend to do a lot of sitting. So this is going to be a great way to get more movement into your body after a long day of sitting or, you know, before a long day of sitting, however it ends up being. So we'll start today's flow in mountain pose. I want you to just find a comfortable position for your feet here, really grounding into the earth with your feet. Start with a slight bend in your knees so you have a little bit of momentum to then extend tall, extending long through the crown of your head. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky and exhale, hands come to heart center here. In Namaste or Anjali Mudra. We're just going to take a moment, standing tall, cultivating some breath here. You can extend your fingers now towards the floor. Don't strain to, to reach long, just reaching your fingers towards the earth, getting a bit of stretch and activation in the arms. And from here, I want you to start using your Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling in a 360 direction here from the base of your belly and exhale, squeezing everything in and up. So exhaling all along your spine, exhaling out through your nose. Inhale here, exhale. Strong exhale out the nose and exhale. So keep that breath going through the entire practice. Now we'll start getting some movement in with it. So starting here, inhale, slight bend in your knees, inhaling, reaching up, and exhale, bending your knees, now really deep coming into a forward fold. Keeping your knees slightly bent here, we're just coming to that first edge of stretch. You can even gently wave yourself back and forth. And bending your knees here again, inhaling, prepare, and exhale, slowly waving yourself back up to stand. Inhale, finishes the pose at the top. Exhale, bending your knees again, waving yourself back down towards the earth, extending your legs to that first edge of stretch. Obviously, we're not super warmed up here, so you can have um, quite a deep bend in your knees if you need. Gently wave back and forth again. Inhaling here, prepare, bending your knees, really grounding into the earth with your feet and then pressing away from the earth, rolling yourself all the way up to the top. Inhaling here. And exhale one last time down to the earth. I want you to walk your feet just a little bit wider than your hips. We're gonna do a cat-cow position in this forward fold. So you're gonna inhale, bend your knees, arching your back just a little, and exhale, rounding out and extending your legs a little bit straighter. Inhaling, exhale, and I'll turn to the side so you can see what we're doing. Inhale, exhale. And you can play with your feet position, having them a little bit closer, a little bit farther away. And you can even be doing this up here on your knees if that feels better. So this is your practice, it's your body, so you wanna figure out what movement is gonna be good for you, what you're gonna benefit from, and something that's not gonna hurt you. Last one here. And just wave the spine long, coming into a forward fold, slightly wider leg forward fold. Again, you can keep it bend in your knees, just coming to that first edge of stretch. Now walk your feet a bit closer together, um, coming just under your hip bones. I want you to come onto your toes. We're going to sit down on our heels with our toes grounding into the earth, heels lifted, and give our feet a little stretch. And total body loving today. And from here, just gently walk yourself forward, coming onto a hands and knees position. So from here, really strong fingertips, grounding into the earth, 
Knees are planted firmly. You're going to do that cat cow again on those hands and knees. So just inhale, arching your spine. Exhale, rounding your back. You might have a little bit deeper spine movement now that it's a bit more warmed up. And here, take a yogi's choice kind of dance movement. You can move the spine side to side. You can circle it, wave it, find any areas of your spine that you want to loosen up, stretch out from however you've been sitting. You can bend your arms, sit back on your feet a little more if that feels good. So again, it's your practice in your body, so find what is going to feel good for you right here. Getting movement all around your spine. Your spine moves in more than one way, so it is a great way to just let it do its thing. Now wherever you are, tuck your toes under. We're going to come back into that cat-cow, but we'll be coming off of our knees, so getting some strength now added to the pose. So inhaling here, arching your back, and as you exhale, press away from the earth and lift off of your knees. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale last time. Exhale, really pressing up. See if you can hold it for just a moment. And then from here, lifting up higher and pressing yourself back into a down dog. Keep your knees bent though. Again, our legs aren't super warm, so we're not going to strain our legs. We'll do one wave forward to get ourselves settled into the pose. So inhaling onto your toes, stretching out your feet again, bending knees and elbows really deep gives you momentum and space to wave yourself forward. And you can step your feet back like I did if you need to lengthen out your plank pose a little. You don't want your shoulders above your wrists. That can um, hurt your shoulders and wrists. <laughs> and then come onto your knees. We're going to lower to the earth. For healthy alignment for our shoulders in our chaturanga and inhale here prepare weave yourself in and up to a cobra pose and really grounding to the earth with strong fingertips and palms and exhale through pointed plank back to down dog from here you can pedal out your feet get a little more stretch in the legs warming up our calf muscles and from here just settling into the pose let gravity do the work for your heels going towards the mat. Don't strain to have them touching your mat, especially since we're just starting <laughs> the sequence. And then inhale here, wave your spine long, extending through the crown of your head, and then just settling into that dog pose position. Now from here, we're going to slight bend in the knees and elbows. Lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bending knees and elbows really deep this time. Brings your right knee to your chest for core plank one, really lifting in and up. Inhale, leg lifts. Exhale for core plank two. Inhale, leg lifts last time. Exhale, really lifting your right leg in and up and step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine and we're gonna just ground the back foot naturally and start to walk yourself towards the center of your mat, kind of centered over your hips. You can wave back and forth here, find um, some movement within the hips, but really ground into the earth here. Settle into that position. You want to be aligned with your hips. We're going to exhale, roll yourself up. So now we have good alignment with our hips and exhale, pressing into warrior two. So that's a fun transition, fun way to get into warrior two that gets you in good alignment because you don't want to be leaning too far forward or back. You really want to be centered over your hips, striving for a 90 degree angle in your right leg, but you can always be up here if that's where you have to hang out today. Whatever is good for you. We'll add some flying warrior to this just to activate the pose a bit more. So inhale, stretch up, exhale, pressing up through your palms back to warrior two. Inhale, lift up, exhale. And inhale last time. Exhale. Right now, so now from here, you can place your uh, forearm on your leg. Fingertips can come to the floor. If you're feeling really flexible today, you can come onto your shin. Find a comfortable position for your hand. We'll do some arm circles. 
So left arm reaches behind you. You're going to bend everything towards the earth as you circle your left arm towards the ground and then extend just a bit straighter for you, finding that first edge of stretch again. Exhale, circles you down. Inhale, extend up. And exhale. Get rid of any shoulder tension while we're doing that. Now from here, circling your left arm down, come off of that back heel. Left arm plants beneath left shoulder. This time you're going to extend right arm to the sky. We'll do that same circling motion, but in this re revolved pose. So exhaling, circling towards the earth. And as you inhale, extending that front leg to its first edge of stretch again. Circling down. Inhale, extend to the top of the pose. And last time, circling down. Inhale up. Very nice. Plant your fingertips on the ground. Strong palm bending into that front leg again. Stepping back into your plank pose. Come onto your knees for the chaturanga. Inhale here. Prepare. Rolling yourself in and up and back. Pressing back into down dog. And you can always do that position from your knees too. When you're here, come back through hands and knees and press back into dog if that is easier for you. Take a moment to pedal at your feet again. And we'll try that whole sequence on our other leg. So inhaling here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Left leg lifts this time. Exhale for core plank one. Inhale lifts you up. Exhale, really lifting in and up. Bending your knees and elbows is going to create a lot of space for you to lift your left knee to your chest and step your left foot to your left thumb. Inhaling here, prepare. Grounding your back foot now naturally on the earth. Walking towards the center again. You can wave back and forth. Help you find your center. Then really planting your feet firmly into the earth. Rolling yourself in and up. And exhale, left knee bends, pressing out to your warrior two. Settle into the pose for just a moment, then we'll do that flying warrior. So inhaling up, exhale, pressing back out. Inhale up, exhale. Last time here, inhaling up, and exhale. Very nice. So if you're still strongly grounded into the earth, finding that arm position for you, whether it's forearm on your leg, hand on your shin, fingertips on the floor, wherever you want to hang out today, right arm extends back. You're going to circle down, bending everything towards the earth and inhaling, rebuilding the pose from the ground up. Circle down on your exhale. Inhale to fill the pose. Last time here. Now circling your right arm towards the earth as you come up off of your back right foot. Right hand plants firmly underneath the right shoulder. Left arm extends towards the sky. We'll do our revolved circles on this side. Exhaling towards the earth and inhale, rebuilding the pose. Exhale. Inhaling at the top, and one more time. Very nice. So from here, coming back, um, squaring off your leg, coming forward, bending the left knee, stepping back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through that chaturanga, inhaling here, prepare. Exhale, rolls you in and up, and exhale back to down dog. Now from here, we'll do one more vinyasa to kind of sink all of that energy between our two sides. So coming onto your toes, uh, deep bend in your knees and elbows here to wave you forward. Coming onto your knees again for chaturanga, lowering towards the earth. Inhale here, prepare, rolling in and up. If you want to do more of an up dog position, you can lift off of your back legs now that we're a bit more warm and exhale. 
exhale, pedaling out your feet. Now from here, just walk your uh, feet towards your hands, coming into the forward fold again. Inhaling, waving your spine, exhale, starting with slightly bent knees, waving the spine long, and then coming to that first edge of stretch with your legs. Might have a little deeper forward fold after all of that work. And lift up onto your toes again, and this time, sit down, take a moment to stretch your feet, and then walk yourself back, and come to a seated position here on the floor. So we did a lot of stretching while we were working our muscles in that flow. If you do have any stretches that you want to take, feel free to do so now. Otherwise, you can just windshield wipe your legs. One of my favorite ways to end after yoga practice is this windshield wiper movement. So feet are about hip bone distance apart and you're just gently waving your knees from one side to the other and it feels so good. And then once you're ready, you can extend your feet long. Come into your final resting pose or Shavasana. Settling into the mat onto the earth. Well, I hope you enjoyed that yoga practice. I know I did. It's definitely a lot of fun to get movement and flow back into your body, uh, especially after days of sitting. So I know how that goes. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you will meet me on the mat again here soon. You can always subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications when new videos go up for you. Also the League of Nerdy Yogis email list, which I have a link for in the description below, um, has exclusive content for you there. So make sure you are on that. And remember, of course, that you are player one in your life. So do what you got to do to win the day every day. Namaste, yogis. I look forward to seeing you soon.